Welcome to this call. My name is Dale Franklin, for those of you that don't know me. Um, and we do this call every Monday, same time every week. Uh, it was uh, some of my people started calling it Mondays with Dale a while back and, uh, and it kind of stuck. So that's what we call it. Okay, so welcome to Mondays with Dale. Um, why do we do this call? It's to, to succeed in network marketing, you have to be one, kept up to date. Number two, have a support, support group. And number three, enjoy just meeting new people. And this is what we're trying to provide here. Um, each week we come on, I give you some information on, on how to do this business, on updates that we might have from the company, um, anything like that. So we keep you current on information. And you get to see different people on, the, on these calls and hear uh, different people that I inter interview. And get a, so you get a lot of different perspectives on how this business works. And it, it also kind of strengthens your, your belief that because you hear so many different people and so many different characters that are doing this business, that no matter who you are, um, where you come from, what your business background, what's your personal background, everything, it makes no difference. Anyone can succeed at this business if they're willing to put in the effort. And the effort is so easy. And the, it's, if, if the, biggest, the biggest downfall of this business is the fact that it is so easy and so simple to do that people get bored with it and they try to reinvent the wheel and that's when they run into trouble. So again, we try to, we try to make sure that we have a place for you to come, uh, a community for you to visit and a place that keeps you up to date. Okay, so having said all that, one of the, obviously the, the biggest things is communication. I'm gonna share my screen just for a sec. And I'm gonna show you, this is a, this is a, 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 a website that was created by Barb Dezettis for me. She did a fantastic job. It's dalefranklin.net. Any one of you can go on this at any time and, and look things up. Uh, Dale Franklin, uh, providing opportunities, shaping legacy. I love that they came up with that. Um, just, just for some background, uh, this picture of me, uh, you see with my hair all sweated down. This is a picture that was taken to me uh, about eight years ago at my oldest son's wedding. Uh, we had it at my home. Uh, it, was, it was August, it was uh, like 95 degrees. And, uh, uh, but I guess I just looked so happy because I was marrying off one of my children and we was such a wonderful day that uh, the, when they developed this, they liked this picture. And so they made this picture into kind of a caricature of myself uh, as kind of a brand. So that's how that came to be. Um, so again, this is, this is just a website that can, this homepage just kind of keeps you up to date on different things we're doing. Um, the Op Opportunity blog is, is a place where you can go and see a little bit more of, of what's, what's going on. And we're eventually gonna have a newsletter to go with this. Uh, who is Dale? This is a place where you can go and just uh, find out a little bit more about myself if you want to. That's the view out of the back, back of my, on my deck off my house. Um, I, I, I never get sick of it. Um, but again, you can learn a little bit more about me, but most important is this thing here called connections. Okay, um, we've, we've added to this, enhance this as we go along. And this is a place you can take all your new affiliates and, and, and just walk them through this and you can make sure that they're connected in every possible way. You know, they can subscribe right here, subscribe now. So they'll be part of my email list. So when we start doing the, the newsletters, they'll get them. Um, it, we do a lot in Africa based on, tele, on, on uh, Telegram and WhatsApp. And so here is um, the connection for Telegram uh, from, to myself. If you haven't got Telegram, here's an easy place right here to, to download it. Telegram and WhatsApp are both great message, message boards. Uh, Telegram is the one that's be basically used by the corporate office. So you really wanna have that so you keep, are kept up to date on, on what's going on from the corporate standpoint. Um, the uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp is the predominant one in Africa. Um, there again, there's a WhatsApp uh, place to click on if you want to install it. Um, and then you can click on chat with Dale on WhatsApp. It'll take you right to my, my uh, page so you can reach out to me and, ch and chat with me. Um, you can follow me on My Daily Choice on Facebook just by clicking here. 
uh, you can subscribe to YouTube and see some of my stuff on YouTube right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention some more about this in just a minute. Um, you, can, you can follow, actually, I'm sorry, the first one I showed you was following My Daily Choice, actually the corporate office on Facebook. And this one down here is following me on Facebook. Um, there's other Facebook groups that you wanna be part of. You can uh, join the WIN Network, which is basically the WIN Network is composed of all the team that is underneath Chris Robinson. Um, he does a fantastic job um, working with his team. So it gives you a chance to connect with him and a lot of, a lot of great leaders. The WIN Testimonials is also part of that, that same network group. And there are some phenomenal testimonials in there about basically everything. If there's, if there's something you wanna know, whether you know, arthritis works with CBD oil, uh, more about uh, the, what, we, what we have to help you sleep, all this kind of stuff, you can go to testimonials and there's plenty of people in there that'll tell you how different products work for them. So that's very important, to, not only for yourself, but for your customers, as they ask you questions, you can send them there. Team We, Team We is, is a team that was created uh, originally by Chris Bailey, who you're gonna be hearing speak today. Um, and it cont contains his whole team as far as uh, the people in Baltimore and Washington, DC. And of course now Chris is out of Fort Lauderdale. He wanted, uh, the great thing about this type of business is when you uh, get into it and, and build your team, you can afford to do the move wherever you want to and, and, and live your dream life. And that's exactly what he's doing. Um, uh, you can attend Zoom meetings um, and like, like we're doing right here. Now, the great thing about this, uh, this way we got to set up with our leaders is there are tremendous amount of Zoom calls going on every day that can help you build your business. And we've basically given you a schedule of, of a lot of them, okay? Um, obviously, uh, Mondays, you have, the, you have one uh, uh, with uh, uh, Adrian Peters on, at one o'clock. We moved ours at two o'clock so we wouldn't, wouldn't overlap. So we have mine every, every Monday at two o'clock. We have the Wind Network training at 9 p.m. Eastern, Sta uh, Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. Um, every Monday, obviously in the African market, you can watch it, but you're gonna have to get up early to, to do it. Uh, here's more, more uh, stuff going on for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you can see there is all kinds of information here as far as if you have somebody that's interested in um, hearing more about the business, you can take them to an opportunity call. If you need people to be trained, there's trainings going on. If you just need uh, the camaraderie of a group, you can go to the groups and, and, and listen and hear what's, what they have to say and, and hear the interaction between everybody in the group. So again, this is very valuable. This is how you create the community that you need to create so that you have a strong team, okay? So now we're gonna go back up here to uh, YouTube. And the reason I want you to see this, in YouTube, in videos, um, here is a list of everything, every Mondays with Dale that we've ever done. Um, so you can go back and you can, you can uh, look at different people that spoke. There's Jermaine Johnson, there's Adrian Peters, there's Cyrus Mathieu, which is the, the general manager for all of East Africa. Um, you can just, uh, there's, there's stuff here with uh, question and answer periods. There's, um, uh, we did some uh, special training on, on uh, uh, how to build your, your list before you start building, building your business. Um, we have a back office training. We have product training. We have uh, the mastermind review for when, when I went through the, uh, the thing back in May. So there's all kinds of information here, okay? But the, the thing I want to talk about today is the fact that we have taken this one step further. Uh, we, are, we are basically creating opportunity videos and back office training with, with subtitles in different languages, okay? so. Um, what we're going to, what we have here, you see there's a Ukrainian subtitle um, uh, of the back office. Uh, there's another one of them, the same thing. There's a Swahili back office. There's a Chris, Chris Bailey, who's going to be speaking with us today. There's him doing a full opportunity presentation uh, with, with, a, with it in, in uh, Swahili. I'll just show you real quick. You can see, see that as he, as he speaks, it's security and been free ever since. That allowed me to be a stay-at-home dad. So you can see as he's speaking, the Swahili version of it is, is going along the bottom. So uh, let's see, get back out of that. Oops. 
So that's the first part of this. What we're going to eventually have is you're going to be able to come up here and play, play, playlists, which already is getting started. And you're going to see this Ukrainian subtitles. You're going to see the Swahili subtitles. There's going to be French subtitles, uh, Spanish subtitles. Anything that you guys need, we can create, OK? And it's, it's uh, also, this is the first phase. The second phase is going to be when the, when, as our corporate office is making slot, the slideshows and doing it with the slideshows in different languages, we're going to be able to, to put that in there too. So you're going to actually, the person's going to be able to hear Chris speaking in English and he's, they're going to see the, the, the slides in whatever language they're, they're in. And they're going to see the subtitles of what Chris is saying. Now, the great thing about this is the fact that you, even though they might not understand Chris's language, they'll feel his energy. They'll feel his excitement. They'll feel the, 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 the overall energy of him pr produce, uh, presenting. And yet they'll also be able to see what he's saying and, and, uh, and, and, and also eventually see the background with a slideshow in their language. We're taking it step by step by step. Um, the company is starting to do some of this on their own, but we, we kind of, we're kind of the people that, uh, that kind of got this rolling. Um, and uh, we want to do this in such a way so you can build your business anywhere in the world. And if you start working with a country that no, nobody else is working with and you need to let the, uh, something to be more communicative with them, we will, we will see that you have that. So again, this is, this is just um, stuff that we're creating for you because we want to make sure you succeed. There's no, nothing that does, it gives me more joy than making my team succeed. And from my own standpoint, you know, I never have to worry about my, my own success because if, if I help you succeed, I automatically succeed. That's the beauty of a business like this is you don't have people that are your managers or your over top of you that are kind of keeping you down so that they can, they can shine. If you are better at this than I am and you're able to grow and, and build a huge team and, and rank up above me, I will be your, your favorite person. I will, I, will, I will help you all along the way and be proud of the fact that I have people that have succeeded far beyond my wildest dreams. And uh, so that's the beauty of this business. So having said that, um, I wanna go just a couple more quick things. As far as meetings, um, obviously we have this meeting every week. And I showed you all the meetings that are on the on the the um, uh, DaleFranklin's.net as far as what's going on in Zoom calls. Uh, we can set you up with three-way calls with different leaders if you want. If you need to do uh, presentations where you've presented to somebody and and uh, uh, you need to give them, take them to the next step, um, we have uh, obviously there's all kinds of pre-scheduled Zooms for training and all that. You you can you can take people to. We have our monthly Super Saturdays. We just had one last Saturday, it was, was great. Had uh, I almost uh, 70, at least 75 people on, I can't remember exact, but it was, uh, it was well, well received. Uh, had five different speakers. Each speaker spoke for 10, 12 minutes. So you got a lot of various ideas, various trainings uh, from different people. So you, you know, it kept it lively, it kept it exciting. It kept it, everybody was on the edge of their seats through the whole thing. And you, and again, it's, we do it once, once every Saturday. Uh, we did it this, this last Saturday. I think the next one's gonna be the Saturday after Labor Day. And then we're trying to set it up so it'll be the first Saturday of every month. So again, very important you go to these things. It keeps you energized. It keeps you fired up. It keeps, uh, it keeps you informed, okay? Um, and other than that, just to mention again, the annual international convention is coming, on, coming up in October, on October 21st through 23rd. The actual convention is sold out, but you can still get the uh, access through the internet and be able to watch all this. Now, guys, the way they're setting this up, if you are, if you are watching it, watching online, there's going to be special uh, contests. We're going to have contests at the, at the uh, uh, convention itself. They're going to be giving away money. It's going to be a, an exciting time, a lot, of, a lot of training, a lot of hearing from a lot of the great, best leaders we have in the company. But for the people that are going to be doing it online, besides that, there's going to be also contests just for you guys. So being on that, you have the potential to earn, to earn money. Now you have potential to buy products, that the new products that they're going to, they're going to sh show us at the convention at the same discount that the people at the, at the convention are going to get. Nobody else is going to get this. Only the people at the convention or the people online that have, that have paid for their access to it. So again, keep that in mind. So that's 
all my droning on today that I need to do. Um, what we're going to what we're going to do today next is I want to introduce you to the speaker today. Now, originally I I told you guys Vegas Goss was going to be on, and but Vegas got pulled away on an important uh, important uh, emergency today, so he couldn't he couldn't come on. So we're blessed. We're going to have Chris Bailey. Uh, no, no loss whatsoever as far as content there. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Chris. Chris is uh, him and I. We've known each other for about twelve years now. Um, time is flying by. Um, he's an incredible leader, incredible trainer, and I get motivated every time I hear him speak. Uh, he's gone to the top of multiple network marketing companies, and I'll let him tell you a little bit more about that. Um, he has the ability to create leaders. I think that's one of his strongest, the strongest abilities he has. He has so many what I call lieutenants that work with him that are people that he inspires and 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 brings brings out their best brings out their training ability brings out their ability to lead and that's what you you need if you want to build a business uh, like this and build it build it big you you got to be able to not only make yourself the best you can be but make your teammates the same and he's fantastic at that um, he's currently a 50k affiliate and that's just a stopping stone a stepping stone to where where he'll be I, i'm sure uh, uh, six months or a year from now and um He's um, he, he's originally, as I said earlier, he's originally from Maryland, but he's uh, because of the ability to live the lifestyle he wants to live through this business. He's just moved to his dream location, the Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, he's in, he's living life at large. And uh, so having having said enough, I guess, uh, Chris, are you available? Yes, sir. How you doing, Phil? You, this is Dale. You got the wrong. Dale. <laughs> we, that's easy. No. To, that's easy to miss up. We, we, we're kind of interchangeable. Right. Y'all got to understand Phil and Dale is one. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We, we, we work together. So at any, at any reason, at any rate, uh, Chris, you've been on my calls before. Thank you so much for coming in and filling in. Um, you know, the way we do this is more of a kind of a conversation uh interview but but uh we just we just want to give have some give and take and and enjoy uh your you telling us a little bit about your background and a little bit about what you're doing so having said all that tell me tell us a little bit about what your life was like before my daily choice tell us right. uh, tell us what previous network experiences you had give us give us a little lowdown Okay, guys, so uh, first of all, thanks, Dale, for having me fill in. And guys, y'all missed a special treat today. I wish Vegas could have been on here. He is absolutely brilliant and phenomenal. Um, but you, you, we'll be okay. We're going we're gonna to make it through with me today. So, But anyway, um, yeah, so I got started network marketing about 15 years ago, Dale. Um, and, and it was actually, I was invited to a presentation. And I'll be honest with you guys, I signed up in the business but I didn't expect anything. And the real reason I signed up was to support my friend. I didn't even have like big dreams or goals through network marketing or anything. You know, I was just like, let me sign up, support my friend because I, I wanna use the product that they have. And that was it. And uh, what happened was the company sent me a welcome uh, pack. And in that welcome pack was a magazine and DVD featuring the company. and. After I was in the business for about three months and I didn't do anything again because I wasn't looking, you know, to do anything with the business. But once I saw the DVD in the magazine that day, my life was completely changed forever. Man, I saw with the, uh, you know, pe how people were living. <laughs> hey, can you calm down? It's working on it. I have the um, Amazon delivery guy delivering the package. <laughs> My dog goes crazy. Zion, hey, calm down. Okay, there we go. All right, so anyway, um, um, yeah, so I, I read the, the DVD and magazine, and man, that was the light, uh, day my life was changed forever. I saw how people were living their dreams, and I was like, man, I'm getting up going to work doing the nine to five, you know, and two years later, and, and this is how Dale and I met, I was wound up at the top of the company. I had no experience. I had no experience in the industry. And two short years later, I was free for the rest of my life. So that was about 13 years ago. I quit my full-time job at Homeland Security and been living my dreams. And as uh, Dale said, 
You know, I was able to move to Fort Lauderdale because I'm not locked down to any, um, you know, one place or any one job. So um, that's kind of, and, and oh, after that, uh, you know, Dale and I, we were all in the same business. Uh, Joshua Wagle, the CEO, we all kind of went our separate ways. Uh, Joshua Wagle started uh, this company. And because the company that Dale, Josh and I, and Chris Robinson, we were all in together, uh, was a startup company. I didn't want to do a startup company because there's some growing pains. So when Josh Wago started this company, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, when he said, Chris, I'm going to have an 85% business volume payout, I was thinking he must have been smoking some, some of that CBD or something, you know, because I'm like, there's no way he can sustain paying out that kind of money, you know, that eventually he's going to have to make changes just like our old company did to kind of hurt the business. So I was like, no, nah, man, I'll pass. Um, so then I went and, uh, you know, started doing other companies, did pretty well. But what I found out is, is even if the company has been around for years, they can have pain, uh, growing pain. So that, uh, the last company I was with uh, wound up, they were um, the biggest travel business in the world and they had to file for bankruptcy. And fortunately, that happened because if that didn't happen, um, I did, you know, became open and then, then saw what MDC was doing. I was like, man, I got to go to that company. Uh, met with Josh, Dale, and everybody else, and uh, got started. Absolutely, you you know the the thing that the thing you just said that, uh, is why we're doing so well is um, you know you had you were like you were with that travel company that had just travel, and when the pandemic came and there was no travel, you, you got it got killed. Where yep. our company is a house of brands with right now six different companies under one umbrella. So even though we one of ours is is high life travel when that took a hit it didn't kill us because we had five other companies to rely upon so i know that's one of the reasons you came back to us yeah and, and it's also the reason why um i won't do any other i don't foresee myself doing another business ever okay because well there's multiple reasons one is is i truly believe in josh away okay i i know that you know, with the growing pains that we went through with that other company, and I know how smart he is, that I, I, I feel like he will never make the mistakes that a lot of other companies uh, have done. Also, uh, Dale, when we went and met with Josh before we all, you know, truly got started, you know, he gave the vision of where he's taking the company, and it just blew my mind. So uh, because that house of brands and the fact that you know, when we started with them, Dale, a couple of years ago, we only had a couple of products. And now the, the product line just in that short period of time has grown tremendously. We have a clothing line. I don't know of any other network marketing company that has a clothing line. We have crypto. We have travel. So as, as Dale said, you know, if one industry takes a hit, all the well, here's the thing. Health and wellness will be here forever. Everybody's always going to need some sleep and lose some weight. Okay, So those will be here forever. And I just I, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a, a quick piece of vision that I have that I know Joshua Wago is going to do it again. OK, and this is why you want to build this team big and fast right now. Joshua Wago's company was doing OK. Right. They were doing about 10 million dollars a year on revenue on the health sprays before they got CBD. Josh was one of the first, if not the first home-based business slash network marketing company that got CBD. And what Josh and Jenna focuses on is the best products available in that product line. So we got the purest, best CBD on the market and it skyrocketed this company uh, to being the world's fastest growing home-based business on the planet. Right? There's over 10,000 companies globally and this company came in number one. And it's all because they were smart enough and brilliant enough to get a product uh, leading edge that completely exploded the company. Here's what I want to tell you guys. They're going to do that again one day. OK, they're going to get a product that's so unique, so awesome that it completely explodes the company again. The thing that we all want to do that's on the Zoom and everybody we bring in in, in the future is build the biggest team possible as quickly as possible because we don't know when that product is going to roll out it could it could be it, you know it could roll out at the convention coming or it could be a year from now heck it might even be five years from now but the thing is we all want to position ourselves build the biggest team possible 
so that when that new product comes out, the new product line, that's a home run again, man, we'll all be cashing those big checks because that's exactly what happened uh, with the people with this company now. You're absolutely right. It, um, and, and the thing is, you know, I've known, I've known Josh since he was uh, like 19 and he's now almost 30. Um, and he's because of his background, you know, I, we've told you before is uh, his history of when he was in high school, he was a chess internationally ranked chess master. And, you know, when you have that kind of brain, <laughs> I wish I had that kind of brain. When you have that kind of brain where you're always thinking five, six, seven steps ahead in chess, your whole life is like that. You're always doing it. He's thinking five, six, seven steps ahead of, of the industry. So he's always going to be that guy that's going to come out with something before anybody else does. And the beautiful thing about our company is it's debt free. So, so let's say he picks one and he's wrong. He, we, we don't have bankers hanging over us telling us what we can and can't do. He can try something that's wrong. So I made a mistake, cut that one off, make an about face, go to the next one. Um, he's, he's, uh, he, he, you know, we, we're in the perfect situation. We have, we have the people that have the minds, the minds to be able to do these new, these new products. And we have the financial backing of being that nimble company that can just spin on a dime. I mean, you don't get, I've been in business my whole life and you do not get both. Usually you get one or the other, you don't get both. So we're in a phenomenal situation. Um, Chris, when, when you join MDC, what, I'm just kind of curious. What was it? What was it that got you excited the, at the beginning? Was it the products themselves, the culture of the company, the comp plan, the ability to be mentored by some of these great people? What What was the one thing that you felt was was the the, the thing that brought you brought you around? Okay, so um, being transparent, the most exciting thing was joining the world's number one fastest growing home-based business on the planet, all right? And when I saw that, uh, you know, there were only $2 million a month earners in the world, and one was with My Daily Choice, and knowing that My Daily Choice was only at that time, a, I believe, a four-year-old company, all right? And I'm like, okay, this company is small compared to all the big boys out there, yet and still, People in my daily choice are out earning all these other companies where their teams are 10 times the size of my daily choice teams. So pound for pound, I consider them the world champion of, of comp plans. OK, so when I saw that <clears throat> um, and then again, uh, knowing uh, Josh's uh, vision for the future, you know, I said, OK, you know, I could go get with something that's hot somewhere else but it may not be, may not last forever. And, you know, I've, I've been with about four different companies and all of them, you know, eventually run into issues. And I just don't see those issues with my daily choice. I don't want to be moving around from company to company. When you build a, a team with a one company, you don't ever, you know, want to be transferring to another one and starting over again. So I just see this as a company that I could be with for life. Okay. So, that's what really excited me is saying, OK, I found a home that I could be with for not not for three years or two years, but 30, 40, 50 years. Absolutely. And I know when we were both at the uh, the uh, meeting with them, when we first first just were deciding to go over um, some of the stuff that Josh told us about. Uh, the one of the things that I remember about him is the fact that he was thinking he was thinking 20, 30, 40 years in, in down the road. He was thinking about leaving a legacy for his children. Uh, he was even thinking about things that, you know, that us mere mortals don't think about. I, I jokingly told him that uh, he, he would, uh, you know, at the rate he was going, someday he might be able to own a football team. And he, he immediately snapped his head back and he looked at me just as serious. He says, I don't want a football team. I want an NBA team. Now, when you have somebody that has the mentality of that, he's already thinking about becoming a billionaire. You know, and if he's going to become a billionaire and create a company that's going to be a, a billion, a multi-billion dollar company, guess what? We're along for the ride. <laughs> so, yes, I mean, that that's what excites me is just having that kind of him having that kind of mindset gives me that kind of mindset. Um, now. Uh, when when as far as you, your own success, you I mean, you've been you've been, with, I believe, four different network marketing companies, you've you've risen to the top of all of them. Um, 
what is the thing that you you think about that is is made that happen made that real for you made that made that um that the, gave you the most most of your success is it you know i'm just looking at some li list of things your mindset staying organized being fearless and relentless in recruiting doing proper follow-ups access to office and inventory great training is it one of those or is it something else that you that you see that it's taking you to where you are today um it's it's a combination of everything, uh, which you'll know, uh, you know what well, you know, Dale. But everyone else who who may be kind of new to this or haven't experienced a lot of success, um, it's all just this big full circle, right? But the biggest thing is belief. Belief is everything, all right? Um, you might have heard this before. He who thinks he will and he who thinks that he won't are both usually right. Right. So if you believe that you can do something uh, and, and my true belief is any human can accomplish anything that any other human has accomplished. OK, so my thinking is, if the, you know, if X, Y, if, if this person hit the top of the company, this person hit the top of the company, then I could hit the top of the company. Right. So the belief is uh, first and foremost. And the reason why belief is so important, because. I go through the same things as everybody on here goes through, okay? I go through the no's, I go through the rejections, I go through people quitting, all right? I go through it all, right? But the, the thing is, it doesn't steal my dreams, right? And it doesn't make me believe any less. I know that that's just part of the business. So when you kind of uh, going back to, you know, all the different things, Dale, one of the things that makes me believe even better is doing personal development, right? So when you're studying other leaders in the industry, when you're studying even other people in any kind of business, it all works the same way. You'll hear people like uh, 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 performing artists say the same quotes as network marketers. You'll hear NFL athletes say the same quotes as in, uh, network marketers. So all business really works the same. It's, it's believing and and never quitting right and keep going until you win here's what i do know if you ever quit you can it's impossible to win and as long as you stay in the game you can eventually win so um that's i, I believe that belief is the number one thing so with belief then can comes everything else comes okay i believe that this is going to work so i need to hit the books i believe this is going to work so i'm gonna follow what dale is uh, you know teaching me so the belief is first and foremost, and then everything else uh, comes behind it. Makes sense, makes sense. The, uh, uh, our good friend Lennon Ledbetter is always talking about the fact that this industry, in this industry, the ability to succeed, everything you need to succeed in this business can be taught. You know, yeah. so it's just a matter of, first of all, deciding what your why is, why you're doing this, giving yourselves that, that, uh, that, the thing that burning desire that you need to have to keep going every day because let's face it in network marketing like like a lot of business a lot of, a lot of things we do in life you know you're gonna have good days and bad days i mean you know the guy the people that just won in the olympics they didn't they don't every day get up and run the best race of their life and some of the ones that took third fourth and fifth place may have been better on a given day than the one that won but on that particular day <laughs> this particular person is the one that did the best so mm -hmm. and probably that person is the one that number one had the most belief in themselves and and got off the blocks the fastest or whatever they needed to do to to, to, to win their gold medal. Um, you know, at this point in time, Chris, I'd love it if you could um, take 10, 15 minutes and just give us a little mini training on anything that you think is important to you, anything that you want us to know. Okay, cool. So, um, so, with the training today, I thought about it and, I, and what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to kind of be all over the map. And if anybody has any questions, you can feel free to type it in the chat line as well. So I, I do want to open that. Now, let's not ask technical questions like how to um, do something in the back office. But if you have a question about anything that I'm talking about, mindset or something like that. So anyway, one of, you know, the biggest thing that I thought I wanted to talk about um, is just never quitting. Right and being all in. So Dale talked about having a strong why, because there's gonna be times, the business is gonna to get tough for everybody. 
All right. We all go through the exact same things. The difference is people like myself, Dale, James Bowman, uh, you know, just people that are having success is we keep believing and we keep going no matter what. Right. Because a lot of times we have, you know, people that we think are going to join the business and kill it. And then they don't do anything. They quit. And then they talk bad about the business and they steal your dreams. Man, my thing is, is this. If people in this company other than myself have had success, then I can do it, too. OK, so, you know, just never quit, guys. Keep pushing. Uh, even if it, it gets uh, uh, tough, just think of me. Just say, well, Chris said it was going to happen and it happens to Chris, too. OK, so it happens to all of us. But we just keep believing, keep pushing, keep going and never, ever, ever quit. All right. And the other thing about that is. We're all one person away from a major breakthrough in our business. Now, I've heard that in every company I've ever been in, but in this company, it's meant more than any other business that I've ever been in because the way the compensation plan is designed, you can literally sign up one person and make a whole lot of money, where in most companies, you can sign up one superstar, but you still got to do three or four other things um, to be able to to capitalize on that superstar. So you can't just sign up one person and make a lot of money. Here you actually can. So have the mindset of, you know, that that person is out there waiting on you to approach him. And when you have that mindset, it gives you even more confidence to open up your mouth and speak to people. So guys, this is this is the real deal. You know, if you were on the Super Saturday this past Saturday, um, Lennon Ledbetter was talking about Dale Franklin and the fact that Dale has business in over 60 countries across the world, guys. Now, here's the funny thing. Somebody signed Dale up, right? So Dale is that one person for somebody else, okay? So guys, the, the thing is, we all are one person. So I'm under Dale. James Bowman's under me. Vegas is under me. So they're all one persons, right? All these one person superstars. And, you know, there's thousands of us out there, just thousands and thousands of superstars. Some of them haven't even been in network marketing at all yet. All right. So it could be somebody new. Then the other thing is you got to give it time, right? They all probably wasn't a superstar the day that he signed up. I know I wasn't. OK, it took me a little bit of time. And once I got rolling, then there was no stopping. OK, so that's when we say you're one person away, man, you might even already have the person. All right. So let me, I'm, I'm going to give you all a sad story. I, I, I don't want to give you a sad story, but it's going to motivate you. So Jenna Zawego, who makes over a million dollars a month. And you guys may say, well, that's Josh's wife. Well, she wasn't Josh's wife when she signed up as a distributor. All right. That's why she was able to keep her, her position. So she came in as a distributor and um, and built a, a, a big team. Now, she didn't get off to this super great start. So her upline wound up quitting the business. Her upline will be a multimillionaire right now today if her upline didn't quit the business. The thing is, her upline quit the business too soon because he did not know that she was going to make a million dollars a month, okay? So you get my point there that, you know, I always tell people you gotta give it a minimum of two years, minimum, okay? Uh, you know, cause again, some of your superstars uh, may, may already be in the business. The other thing that's really awesome is the way the binary tree works. You, you know, you might have a superstar in one leg and could be struggling to get the other leg going and yet and still, there might be a superstar down there or somebody else may sign the superstar. Up. So then next thing you know, both of your legs are taken off and you are making a lot of money. OK, so, guys, I'm going to tell you, give it time. Be patient, but be very aggressive. Be consistent. Be excited. Be motivated. Let me tell you all something. I'm sure a lot of you guys on here are a lot more educated than I am. I barely graduated high school. I had to go to summer school twice. And I've never been to college. OK. And to make matters worse, Chris Robinson even dropped out of school. <laughs> OK. So if we can do this and have all the success, you can, too. All right. Just believe in yourself. Believe that if, if Chris can do it and he's not that smart, then you can do it, too. All right. So, 
yeah, it's it's it, it's freaking it's it's awesome, guys. But give it that time. As a matter of fact, another thing that I have written down that I just wanted to talk about. Um, a lot of times we think that you got to hit the top position of the company to make significant money, to make to, to be that superstar. In my opinion, 25K affiliate is the rank. OK, it's the rank of this company. It's the freedom rank. Anybody who hits 25K affiliate. Now, when you first hit it, your income won't be the average income, most likely. OK, unless you just got crazy mad momentum. So you could actually do it. But the average income is about six thousand dollars a month. Now, on your way to 25K affiliate, you've made a whole bunch. You've made thousands and thousands of dollars. So you should have been paying off all your bills, you know, uh, getting control over your financial uh, situation. And at 25K affiliate, you can pretty much live anywhere in the world you want. Now, I'm not saying you're living in a mansion or anything, but you could live a really good lifestyle at 25K affiliate, right? So every network marketing company always has what we call a decision uh, rank. 25K is that rank in this company. That's where you can decide if you want to keep working your job or quit your job, all right? So shoot for that, guys. And when you hit 25K, don't stop there, but maintain it, keep pushing, keep pushing, and then help other people to 25K. That way it's a whole group of you guys uh, accomplishing freedom. All right, so uh, Dale, anything else? Yeah, uh, well, you know that you got me thinking about a couple of things. Um, uh, you talk about minimum two years, you know, two to five years. And that, I mean, it's, it's so true. I mean, uh, it, it takes time to build. It takes time, and, and don't get me wrong. I know people that have been in this business for five years and still haven't succeeded. And just because you're in business for five years doesn't mean you're going to succeed any more than when I started my tire store years ago. You know, I've been doing that since 1984. I could still be doing it and just be getting by. But because I learned from my mistakes and kept building and building and building and creating more and more customers through different ways of doing things and making sure that we, we got a reputation as being a re very, very good company to do business with, it has grown so that company alone made me financially free. So again, it's it's not about it's it's about making a commit for, commitment for a minimum of 2 years, but during that 2 years, you got to co constantly be improving yourself, you know, in, getting uh reading. You know, Chris talks about reading all the time. Uh re read uh uh li listen to to I think like Amway said years ago, books, meetings and tapes, okay? That was that was how Amway built their huge eight billion dollar a year company was through books, meetings, and tapes. You've always kept yourself excited, kept yourself uh, fired up by reading about other people that were already successful. Go out and like like Chris, you've done. Go out and look at cars that you want to own. Look at homes you want to own. Look at boats you want to own. Give yourself something that you want. Give something that creates that burning desire, and then take a picture of it. And do like the experts tell you, put it on your mirror. So you see it every day when you're, when you're shaving or putting on your makeup, uh, put it in front of your refri on your refrigerator door. So every time you go to eat, you see it, you know, you refire yourself up all over again. You know, I think Chris, you put on a uh, video. I think it was you that put it on. Um, I showed this lady that was, had been building, building, building and working very, very hard. And, and uh, she went to one meeting and spoke to a guy from Russia who said, you know, I'm going to go back to Russia and I'm going to build this. And she, you know, we hear that all the time, guys. We hear that the the ones I, I the ones that come up to me and say, Dale, you're the luckiest person in the world. You just signed me up. You're going to be a millionaire. I, I got to admit, those are the people I usually kind of discount because I've heard it so many times before. I look for the guys that were quiet, were sitting on the edge of their seat and were just listening to every word I said, but never said too much. Those are who end up becoming my superstars. Well, this guy, anyway, he told her he was going to go back to Russia and build a huge team. And she said she she left. And so she started looking at her back office and she saw that, that there were all these Russian names that were starting to accumulate. Eventually, she printed it off and she had a, uh, you know, the, the computer paper. She said it was almost a foot thick of people with Russian names that this guy actually did go back and build. And not only did he make himself a fortune in doing it, he made her a fortune. And it was all from making sure she went to one meeting. I think she said it was in Chicago that she 
uh, if I remember the story right, she wanted to, it wasn't one of those that she said, my God, I don't, you know, I've been doing these every night. I'm tired. Uh, this is one I, I might want to miss. And she said, no, I've made a commitment. I'm going to go. And that one commitment turned into something and made her a fortune. So again, it's this, this business is just about the numbers, about you, you, if you talk to enough people about this business, you present enough people with what this opportunity, you're going to end up with people that are going to, going to take it and run with it. It's just, a, it's a matter of numbers. Um, yeah, and, and Dale, I'm going to piggyback off of that. Um, so when I say the two years, so the two years is a minimum, right? So there's, all right, so first back to Margie. I think she actually slept in her car going to that meeting too. I think right? I she slept in her car because she didn't have a lot of money. That Russia team turned to over a, a half a million people, over 500,000 people from that one guy at the meeting she didn't even want to go to that started late. OK, so, yeah, it, 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 she thought it was a disaster and it turned out to be, you know, the home run. But there's also and this is why personal development is very important. Um, so Dale talked about, uh, you know, some people even five years. So, again, with me doing personal and this will help with your belief, too. OK, so there's a, a, a book called Beach Money by Jordan Adler. And Jordan Adler now is a multi, multi-millionaire from network marketing. But his first 10 years, he did not sign up one person. 10 years. Now, how many of us would have quit? But the thing is, he said, you know, he just kept believing because he kept seeing other people successful. So he believed that he could eventually do it as well. And then there's another gentleman by the name of David Imonitie. Um, David, also the same thing. Um, he, I think it was like over seven years. Uh, that he didn't make a penny and he wound up making, you know, almost a million dollars a month in the uh, network marketing company. He's so felt uh, uh, rich right now from it. But again, those are two people who um, had to go even beyond the five year mark and now are multi multi millionaires. So, yes, two years is the minimum that you need to plan. I mean, you might not even get one sign up in two years. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, just one more last story. The last business I was in, there was a couple at the top of the company. Number one, um, it took them, I don't know, over a year to sign up. So that's why follow-ups are very important. Again, all the stuff that we teach you all the time, it all comes full circle. So doing follow-ups, reading books, personal development, um, you know, prospecting, all this stuff we teach you all comes together. So um, the, the person fortunately kept following up with them and they wound up joining a year later, they hit the top of the company. But the thing was, when they joined, they didn't hit the top of the company right away. Matter of fact, they said the whole first year, they couldn't get one sign up. And then they said after the first year, they became coachable. They were trying to do it their way, talking to, you know, over talking, not using the, the tools. And after the first year, they um, you know, wind up signing up a bunch of people and hitting the top of the company. So there's like multiple stories in that experience alone. One is never give up on people, keep following up. Uh, you know, it may not be their time when you first talk to them. So follow up with them. Secondly, you got to give them time. Right. And thirdly, you know, you got to be coachable because if they were coachable, they would have hit the, uh, the top of the company maybe a year earlier. All right. So yeah, so just wanted to share those uh, uh, with you as well. Chris, didn't you yourself, didn't you get approached like three times by this guy before you finally joined? Right, so I was the one person for somebody once. So this gentleman, and I didn't know him, he was on Facebook, and um, he approached me about joining a company, and I was with another company. So when I'm with a company, I'm so committed, I don't even entertain other uh, uh, you know, businesses, because people, every, every time, you know, people are going to come to you and it's going to look good. All of them look good. Okay. So anyway, um, so I told him no the first time when he inboxed me. And then, uh, you know, a couple of months later, he inboxed me again. And of course, I was kind of rude this time. I was like, look, man, I told you the first time I'm not interested. Okay. But this fool, okay, this fool had the audacity to come at me a third time. Even after I was rude to him the second time, he's going to follow up with me again, you know, and ask me, was I interested? Here's the funny thing. I needed something the third time. <laughs> OK, so the third time was a charm. So even though I was rude to him the second time and, you know, he came back to me a third time and I was like, you know what, man, 
I need something different in my life. Go, you know, sign me up in your business, you know. So a lot of times, guys, it's not, you know, what you say, what you do, to how, how the presentation, it's their timing, all right? It's the timing for the person. What he did not know is that day he became a multimillionaire, okay? Because um, when I joined the company, and, and, and Dale was a witness to this, I joined the company. I didn't get off to a super fast start. As a matter of fact, everybody, all the top leaders that joined that company were passing me up um, when I got started, you know. And um, so they all were hitting the top of the company faster than me. Some of them were joining after I did, and, you know, hitting the top. And I was like, man, you know, but I just kept believing and kept believing. And then I wound up, um, you know, was fortunate enough that Josh Uego and I hit the highest rank of the company at that time. Um, so, you know, again, we all that one person away. And, you know, like I said, he didn't know. And again, the fortune is in the follow-up. So, uh, you know, make sure you guys are doing the follow-ups as well. You know, there's a, there's a cartoon I saw about network marketing and it shows a girl and she says, I'm so frustrated. I've been in network marketing for a whole week and I'm not a millionaire yet. I mean, <laughs> we, we, have to, we have to understand that for some of us, if you, if you, if you become successful this very quickly, you are, isn't, isn't necessarily because you're good. It's because you're extremely lucky and your timing was fantastic. The grinders, the ones that do it and make the uh, most money long term are what I call the grinders. They just keep grinding it out day after day after day. They take the hits. They just keep on going. And, and, and when they finally build it, they have a base that can sustain it you know there are so many there's so many uh people that get in network marketing you hear they reach a certain rank well they only re reached it once okay and then they fell right down when you build like chris built and he was building a he was building a broad strong base when he reached his ranks he stayed there he stayed there he maintained those ranks he got he got uh the the pay on a regular regular monthly basis not just a one-time one-time shot so um, I, I just got to tell one more quick story. We got just a couple more minutes and then we'll, we'll close this off. You know, it's, it's not just network marketing that you run through this. Now, I told you I owned a tire store and I used to own a, both, I, I sold retail tires and we did automotive repair work. And I also had a wholesale division. So I bought a lot of tires and I sold them wholesale to other garages. And I went to this garage in about, I don't know, 40, 40 miles from my, house, from, from my shop. And I went there every week for a year. And if they were busy, I'd just stick my head in and I'd wave. If they were, if it looked like they were slower, I'd go in and chat with them for a few minutes. And I did that for 52 weeks. Now, this is what always stuck out with me. I, on the 52nd week, I kept notes as I was going along. I saw it was my 52nd time. I, that day I went in expecting that was gonna be the last day I was ever gonna stop, okay? I'd given it a year, I'd never sold them a tire. I had never, uh, made a penny off of them. But that day I walked in and, and I waved to him and they said, Dale, come here a minute. And they pulled me in and they had, they said, we are finally sick and tired of the poor service we're getting from the tire company. We're buying our tires from you have net. We've never, you've never made a dollar off us and you've been coming for, it seems like a year, which you had been. And you show up every week and you're here and we know we're going to see you. And they gave me an order for 200 tires. And they went on to buy about 5,000 tires from me over, over the, our, our, our relationship. Now, that again, if I had given up after the first, the first week or the second week or you know, the first month, I would have never made that, those sales. You know, the average, the average salesperson in the world averages nine follow-ups before they make a sale. OK, for every person who makes a sale on the first time, there's somebody else that had to wait 25, 30, 30 visits to get it. The average is nine. So when we have to approach somebody two or three times over a period over a period of time for this business before we get them in, like the gentleman that, that got Chris, that's really not that bad. That's that's below average, <laughs> you know. But again, it's follow up. The follow up is so important. If you tell somebody that they're going to, if you talk to them, they say they're not interested. You ask them, would you mind if I got back to you in say three months to see if, if uh, you, you, might be, you might be open for something then? And they say, yes, go directly to your calendar. Time out three months, write it down, put it in your calendar. So three months from now, when you're open your calendar, you're gonna go, 
oh, I said I was going to speak to Joe uh, today, three months ago. And you call him up and say, hey, Joe, I, you, you told me I could give you a call in three months. I'm following up. Just want to ch check and see how things are going. You prove to them that you're serious about the business. You prove to them that you're organized because you're doing exactly what you said you're going to do. And that makes you look like a professional. And people like to work with professionals. So having said that, Chris, thank you so much for coming on today and filling, filling in. Uh, fantastic job as always. And thank the rest of you for coming on and, and listening to what we had to say. Um, remember, we're in this to help you. We're in this. If you succeed, we succeed. So we're, we're your, be your best friends. We will do whatever you need to, need to have happen to help you succeed. So feel free to reach out to us, uh, to talk to us in, uh, on messages, uh, on Facebook, any way you want to reach out to us, WhatsApp, Telegram, and we will get back to you and help you in any way you need help. So remember, remember that. Remember, we, I love you. I want you to succeed. I take joy in other people's success. And we'll see you this time, same time next week. Having said all that, this, this is, uh, meeting is over. And you guys have a fantastic week.